what's up? Thank you for tuning in today. Um, I feel like before I jump into the actual video, I owe you, first of all, an apology for being MIA for so long. Um, I just want to update you that I did give birth to my second daughter, Aria. She's three months old now. Um, for those of you who may be new to my channel, might not know much about me, this channel has been kind of on and off for the past two years. I am originally Canadian. I live in Israel. I have two daughters. I've been super, super, super busy with my two channels in Hebrew, which is a beauty, fashion, lifestyle channel and my second family vlog channel. And I've been so busy with them on top of giving birth and having a toddler at home as well and Django if you guys can see. I have my own brush line now, which you'll see throughout this video. So just so much has been going on and I do apologize that I kind of was M MIA on this channel, but I am back and I finally have a babysitter for the baby. So today's video is going to be the full face using only highlighters challenge and this has been going around YouTube for about four weeks. I will link down below uh, the original creator of this challenge, the original video, and then of course you for sure know uh, Patrick Starr and Nikki Tutorials and Manu MUA and all the big YouTubers out there have been doing this as well. I decided to kind of put my own spin actually on this challenge. I am definitely going to be using um, the majority highlighters, but I am going to kind of incorporate a few products that may not be highlighters just because I want to actually take this wearable, as wearable as a full face using only highlighters can be. So I am going to kind of tone things down a little bit, but definitely this is the full face using only highlighters challenge. So the first product I'm going to be using today is the Chanel LeBlanc, and this is an illuminating base. And it's very, very similar to MAC Strobe Cream, and I was debating which one I should use. This one is just a little bit more illuminating, so I decided that I should be using this in a full face of highlighters video. I'm going really heavy handed with this today. Normally I would give a really soft layer just to give um, a really light highlight or glowiness to the skin. But actually there are a lot of moisturizing properties in this product and because of the foundation type that I chose to use, I actually need a really good moisturizing foundation, um, foundation base. Yes, for this challenge I definitely need wipes on hand because it is going to get messy. <laughs> so now that I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, um, it's time for foundation and because I said I'm going to be making this a more of a wearable or as wearable as this can be kind of look, I'm actually going to be mixing three products today. So the first one I am going to be using is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is the liquid one and in the color Moonstone. I normally use this obviously as just a highlight. I'm going to kind of add a little bit of color to it because it's going to be a little bit too light for me just as a foundation. Um, and I'm going to use this product that has been in my drawer for years and I haven't touched it and I hope it's still good. Um, it's the Max Strobe Liquid Lotion and you probably know the silver version. This I think was like a limited edition from a collection. It's called Golden Elixir and I used use this all the time on my body. And I'm going to be using the Cover FX uh, custom, what are they called? Custom Cover Drops. This is a foundation builder, so basically it's just pigment and you add this to your foundation if you want more coverage. I'm going to add a few drops of this into this so that I'm not only just getting highlight, I am going to get a little bit of coverage because my skin needs coverage. I'm going to put some Skin Perfector on the back of my hand. Shake this up really well and add a little bit of that. I'm kind of making up my own concoction here. Now for the foundation drops, I'm going to put some in there. And actually, I think I've created a really good foundation shade for me. Yay! And it is going to be glowy. Glowy but wearable. That's what we're going for today. I normally don't do this, but today I felt like it was necessary. I turned on my ring light because I feel like you really need lighting to see um, a glow. Sometimes glow gets lost uh, in front of natural lighting. Ugh, this is impossible to open. I am trying to open this sleek palette so that I can use the mirror. And I cannot even open it. So I am using the sleek cream contour kit. And I just got this when I was in London and I love this. I did not think I would like this as much as I do. I think this is absolutely incredible. I'm very skeptic about contouring and highlighting cream products. So I'm always like, why can't I just use a foundation or a concealer for this? But these do blend out perfectly. So easy to use and the shades are obviously wonderful for highlighting and contouring. And I'm just going to slightly contour just because my face 
um, definitely needs a good contour. And if you're using a lot of glowy and highlighting products, you can totally lose that definition, especially in uh, cheeks like mine or in like the double chin area like mine. I really missed sitting here and talking to you guys in English. I really did. I've wanted to do this for so long and you know those those things that you just you need to get done and you tell yourself every week, okay, this week I'm doing it, this week I'm doing it, and it just doesn't happen. Um, so I have had a good talk with myself during my trip to London, and I had a few really good meetings at Google, and everyone kind of just said to me like, Ashley, why did you stop doing videos in English? And I was like, you know what, I want to do it so bad. And everyone's like, well, you know, where there's a will, there's a way, and. It's totally true. Where there's a will, there's a way. So if you want to do something, just do it. I know so many people say to me, oh, I'm dying to start a YouTube channel. Stop thinking, stop dreaming, just do. Wow, how cheesy did I just sound, but it's true. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm really liking the base. Like, not even as a challenge, this is just really nice. I've got a really nice glow going on right now. So for concealer, we are going wearable but still highlighter. So we are going to be using the MAC uh, Prep and Prime Highlighting Sticks and I'm going to be combining Light Boost with Radiant Rose. Just that combination of yellow and pink for me gives a really good highlight. I'm not high maintenance, I just mix them right on my face. I'm going to set the whole under eye area with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and this may look like it's a mattifying powder but it is not. It has little speckles of uh, reflex in it to kind of brighten under your eyes. So we are definitely not cheating here. <laughs> I'm going to be using this brush a lot, I think, in this tutorial. So this is the Inglot uh, 4SS. I love this brush for highlighting and for under, under eye area. It is really good. So I'm just pushing this on to kind of set everything that's going on under here. But like I said, it's brightening, not getting a matte effect. And I'm going to go over the tops of my eyes here to just stop any creasing. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the Girl on Meteorites Pearls. Again, this is an illuminating powder, so just kind of pop that right on everything. Um, I don't wanna get rid of this beautiful glow, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the forehead and any places where uh, products don't really last on me because I do have oily, oily areas that come out. Um, this brush actually is from my line, the AWB Makeup Brush line that I came out with, and this brush is called The Huge Brush for obvious reasons. I'm really, really proud of my brushes. Unfortunately, unfortunately, my site is currently only in Hebrew, so if you can work your way around it, we do ship internationally. I just hope um, that you can figure it out because it is in Hebrew. If you do have any problems, if you'd like to order internationally and you are having problems, just uh, contact the customer service. Um, I'll leave the link down below for the customer service and they'll be happy to help guide you through it if language is the issue. I'm just gonna define my brows very quickly. I am using MAC Fling on the inner portion and on the outer portion I'm gonna be using um, the Ofra Universal Eyebrow Pencil. On my eyes today I'm gonna be using the brand new highlighting palette from Ofra. This is the Beverly Hills highlighter. It is stunning and I'm gonna be using the darkest shade right here and I'm gonna be using this on the crease of my eye. Normally, obviously, I would do this with a matte transition shade, but we're using all highlighters today, baby. The brush I'm using is called the Big Fluffy, and I like to use it for applying shadows, but mostly blending out shadows. So luckily enough, I've got another one, <laughs> and I'm gonna use a clean one to just blend this out and soften the edges. And the reason I wanted to do like a wearable look was because I was looking at these people who were saying like, this is a joke, I'm doing this because this is not real, this is not supposed to be wearable. And I was looking at elements of their video and I was like, but that's actually really nice and wearable, so like let's incorporate that and make that work. From the same Beverly Hills highlighter, I am taking the pinkish gold shade and I'm gonna pack that all over the lid. I'm using a MAC 239 brush. Oh man, I used to be able to just spit out product names and brush names and four years on YouTube and a bajillion products later, you just, it, it just gets confusing. I'm going in now with the champagne color from the highlighter and um, the sharpened pencil from AWB Makeup. And I am going to highlight the inner corners. This is a gorgeous shade for highlighting inner corners. 
This is just a gorgeous shade all together in this highlighter. I'm gonna use a tad bit of the whitest shade in here and just very slightly highlight under the brow. This is really intense as you can see. So what I like to do is I like to just pack it on on where I want the most intensity and then go in with a clean fluffy brush and just soften that out. As you can see, it just gives a really nice lift also to the brow doing that. I wanna add a little bit more warmth to the eyes and maybe see if I can make that blue pop from my eyes. So I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighting Powder. And I believe this, was, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was a limited edition collection kind of thing. But basically just use your Golden Glow Brown Bronzers, Highlighters, whatever you wanna call them. This particular product, I absolutely love the shade because it's hard to find a good um, warm bronzer that isn't too red in the undertone. Um, so this just looks really, really nice on medium to dark skin tones as a highlight. It is beautiful. I like to use this as a blush topper as well on uh, really deep skin, skin tones. This is just one of my favorite products and the formula is amazing. I feel like if you're using only shimmery shades on your eyes, you do need a little bit more dimension um, on the bottom lashes to just kind of bring focus and, and bring that frame back to your eyes. MAC has this new collection, at least here in Israel it's new, probably in the rest of the world it's like, oh, that's so old already. Um, but there is this really nice kind of tribal Coachella inspired makeup uh, collection now. And this is called Gleam Tones Powder Dunes at Dusk. And this is part of that collection and it is a highlighting palette. And there are some really great shades in here. I'm gonna go in with this purple. It's really unique to see like a purple highlighter. I'm gonna go in with that on a crease whiz. This is kind of like the defined crease brush. And I'm just gonna pack that on and I'm gonna further define the outer corner using that. I guess the biggest challenge when you're using only highlighting products is to really get that definition and dimension, that, that 3D effect in your face because you don't want everything to just look so glowy that it ends up looking flat, like everything's just, just popping off your face. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Scandalize Extreme Mascara. Loving this mascara at the moment. I'm gonna be trying to stick to a regular schedule on this channel, um, so you don't need to guess when new videos are coming out, but make sure you subscribe anyways, and new videos will be coming at you every Monday and Friday from now on. While my mascara is drying, I'm gonna go in with the Ofra 3D Pyramid Egyptian Clay Bronzer. This stuff is the bomb, one of my favorite products of all time. I absolutely love contouring with it. There are a few matte shades here on the side, but there is also a shimmery gold shade right in there. So I'm gonna just take a mix of all of them and I'm gonna contour and bronze my face. It is so pigmented that you need to be so careful. I like to just kind of pat where I want the most pigment to be. <laughs> and then I've got enough pigment on there to move on to the next side and do the same thing. And then at the temples, the brush I'm using, by the way, is called The Chiseler um, by AWB Makeup. Of course, I will be leaving a link to the site down below, like I said, but I'm hoping you're not going to have language issues. Of course, I will be working on an e-commerce site translated to English if there will be demand for it. So let me know if that's something that's of interest to you because if I do see that there is a lot of interest, obviously, I will invest the time to do that. Guys, I'm really happy right now. Like I'm just loving this glow, like all of it. And I'm just feeling like this is wearable. Like good job. For my blush, I'm gonna be mixing two products. I'm gonna be using the Moon Dust Face Powder by Kiko in 01 Mysterious Pink. And this is, um, it looks like a blush, but it's actually um, a, a face powder. Like it's an illuminating face powder. So it's not extremely pigmented. And that's why I'm gonna actually build two products, one on top of the other to get as much pigment as possible. So I'm really pick, packing that on. Um, you can definitely see that pink starting to build though. It's beautiful. Again, this product on darker skin, skin tones just Gorge, like I can totally picture Rihanna wearing this, you know what I mean? So this is the Cindy Luminizer by The Bomb, and I gotta admit that when I bought this, I was so excited, and when I received it, I was like, what, what, what am I gonna do with it? It is so not for my skin tone. Um, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of that and just add a little bit more pigment because this is really, really pigmented. Um, for me, this is way too strong of a highlight and way too deep of a color for a highlight for me or even it's just way too highlighty for a blush. 
So it works great with this look, but again, um, this is not the most wearable product for me in the world. So I'm happy that I finally have a good use for it. As if I wasn't highlighted enough, let's highlight. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my brand new Illamasqua Beyond Powder in OMG. And OMG is right, this stuff is gorgeous. I've used this, uh, I think twice now. This is gonna be my third time. And just, 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 oh, look at that. This is amazing. I'm obsessed with this. This is a gorgeous highlighter. I think this is the the biggest thing to come out there since uh, Mary Luminizer. Let's say that. Got a really nice kind of white gold sheen to it and it is gorgeous. Put a little bit on the nose, on the tip of the nose. Cupid's bow. Before I get into lips, I'm just gonna pop on some false lashes. I'm using House of Lashes Smoky Muse. I'm gonna finish this look with some hot pink on my lips. I just feel like this is the perfect summertime look. Um, this is Rimmel's Lasting Finish by Kate Moss, number 36. And on top of that, I'm gonna be adding the lip gloss um, from the Miley Cyrus Collection for Viva Glam. So guys, this completes my look. I'm so proud of myself. I love the way it came out. I gotta say, it is one heck of a highlighted and dewy glow, but I think it's totally wearable. And I, like I said, I don't think this is the most long lasting makeup I've ever done, but I think that this is absolutely gorgeous. I think that this would photograph beautifully. So I'm gonna go head over to my Instagram and take some pictures and upload them. So make sure you're following me on my Instagram as well. And in case you're wondering, my Instagram has obviously my followers from Israel as well. So there are gonna be tons of comments in Hebrew, but I always uh, caption my photos in English, so don't worry. I am so excited to be back on this channel. I'm so excited to see where this channel is gonna go because I kind of always was in that zone where I was like, okay, this is gonna be a beauty channel. And then I was like, wait, no, 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 no. I want this to be like more of a lifestyle channel. And then I was like, no, no, no. I want this to be more of a channel where I kind of talk about what it's like living abroad. And I just felt like the content was never really 100%. I was never really happy with my content on this channel. And I feel like now that I've had some time to think about it and to talk to some people around me about what I want to do on this channel, I think like I have more of like a game plan. Like I kind of just want this channel to just be me. Like whatever I want to do at that moment, just just do it. And I think that that's the best way to do to do YouTube. I think that over the past couple years, everyone's kind of been caught up in like what works on YouTube, what's successful, what's gonna make me big. And I was like, no, 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 no. I gotta go back to the good old days where we just did YouTube because we just loved doing YouTube. So that's why I did this look for you today because I knew it would be a lot of fun for me to do. So I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. So again, please make sure that you're subscribed, following me on social media. And this outro is getting now way too long. So I'm gonna say ciao for now to everyone. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.